if you want to accomplish more in your life and do it in such a way that doesn't really create so much stress then you should definitely check out the book called Getting Things Done The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen so this is a book that uh, shows the system that David Allen has been developing for quite a few years already so this is definitely a book that pretty much every business under, business owner and entrepreneur should check out so let's go just through this book so this system is all about pretty much the principle behind this that I mean a mind is a creative tool so I mean it's all coming up with a different kind of ideas doing different kind of brainstorming and that kind of, that kind of stuff and it's not place where we should hold ideas it's not really place where uh, we we should like memorize all the different things because it's not really the best tool for that and if we are just going to try to memorize everything then what just gonna happen that it's we are just gonna be cluttering our mind and which usually leads to that we are not going to be as productive and we are not going to be as focused as we could be so point is to uh, and one way I mean there's a saying like how can we actually eat an elephant the answer is like in small chunks and the same principle applies in taking action so if we have a really like big task or big projects or some kind of like vague ideas or just something that we definitely don't want to do then I mean it really helps if we just think small and really work focus on the next single things that we can do to really get the details under control. So it's about like collecting information and then processing that information, organizing review and then just getting it done so okay I mean what is TDD getting things done I mean this is an action management method and it's not about managing projects or tasks it's about managing actions so it's more of a like time management system and really complements our inefficiency in this kind of like mental reminding system and it really helps us helps to clean up all loose ends and it's all about the horizontal and vertical organization and it's also good to consider that okay I mean if we are stressed then why are we stressed what is the root cause well it's usually that we just ha have too much that we could handle and we don't really have the time to get everything done so it might be that we have we, are, we have simply made and agree to too many commitments and or maybe we have just too many ideas and too we are too much involved in in too many different things and maybe we are just changing jobs with ever changing no no this how, how to really grasp these things and we are distracted so we don't have the appropriate focus this means that we have this ineffective personal organizations and then that creates this huge subconscious resistance so which means that we're just going to be procrastinating and finding constantly finding ways how to avoid in uh, avoid this task and yeah I mean <laughs> it's it's all in our mind right so it's about really getting this control and perspective and um, incompletes and open loops pull out the attention so we I divine, identify those things that really ring, ring the bell. So we want our mind to be decluttered. So we want to be our mind to become silent like water. So how can we do that? Well, I mean, we can do that by um, same way we can um, clean up a closet. I mean, first thing is to clear everything out of it and then just start cleaning up. So it's pretty much that we start with this thing that okay I mean we take, take a piece of paper and start writing all the different th things that we have at our mind right now and the thing is that I mean if we if you're not going to be writing it down then it's just going to be haunting us that 
idea or thought or and it's just going to be reminding us that and pretty much nagging to us that I mean this is something that we have been left uh, left undone for so long and so that's eventually it's just gonna be let, be like bumming us out so first thing is really like clearing and then clarifying exactly what is the commitment and decide what to do with it and sometimes it can, might be that okay we decide to do we, we decide to do nothing regarding it we just reject it and if we do that i mean that's already a step like uh, uh, a progress right so once we have decided all the actions that we need to take we need to keep reminders of the organizing system to review that so so we can actually regularly review the progress and you know, I mean, what gets measured gets done. So this is a way how we can actually assure that we are going to be taking actions towards completing it. But I mean, uh, we don't want to make things complicated and we don't want to like introduce different kinds of uh, uh, complicated tools. I mean, even if we would be working with just a piece of uh, paper and pen, I mean, that would pretty much be sufficient in order to be effective. So why is it that actually uh, this happens that it we, things come uh, can get lost and so on? So why is our mind like acting this? Why why doesn't really why why do we end up in this kind of phase that we can uh, we, we tend to keep procrastinating if we don't th put the right things down? Well, I mean, just consider this example, like, okay, do you have a flashlight or remote or whatever somewhere with dead batteries in it? And when when does your remind, mind tend to remind it that, okay, we need to get new batteries? It's usually when you notice the dead ones, when we actually take pick, up, uh, pick it up and notice that, okay, the remote is not working. And come on, I mean, that's not very smart, is it? So if, if the mind had, like, any innate intelligence it would actually remind us uh, about those dead batter batteries only when you pass like live ones in a store right i mean that would be actually smart but uh well same applies to stuff that we are not actually making any progress towards so just consider that i mean between the time you woke up today and now i mean did you think of anything you needed to that you still haven't done so it's a waste of time and energy to keep thinking about something that you make no progress on. And uh, there's actually a good, uh, uh, good saying by David Allen that if you get the same thought like twice, then it's already like one time too many. No, we should work in such a way that okay, if we get uh, if you think about something, we should just immediately like write it down like take it out of our mind and then we are then basically it will move over to the progress progressing uh, column so what are open loops i mean it's basically anything that we allowed in our world that doesn't really belong where it is and for which no there's no clear outcome and there's no next single action defined yet so this stuff has to be transformed in an actionable, actionable items in a, in a wider system. So, but how do we actually manage that action? That's pretty much the next phase here. Because if you want to get stuff done, then we need to manage our actions, right? So then it's about horizontal and vertical action management. So horizontal control maintains the coherence across all the activities in which we are involved and then vertical control in contrast manages thinking up and down the track of individual topics and projects so the change really is that just get it out of our mind right get it out of the head right and when we consider our short-term memory i mean it's the one that actually tends to hold all of the incomplete, undecided and unorganized stuff. And it's really overloaded with stuff. There's all the time new stuff popping up. 
So it's this like arbitrary and distracting things. And furthermore, and like if we have loaded so much stuff, then there will always be conflict and we can the reality is that we can just fulfill like one task at a time. So this is something that actually produces this ongoing stress that is like ubiquitous like gravity. And if we have this there's something on my on, on on our mind and it doesn't really leave us alone then I mean clearly <laughs> our mind is not clear. So then we need to consider that okay what is the commitment and what what is that we actually need to do. So, I mean, there might be messages in all different channels and platforms and then notes from meetings. And the key thing is really organizing these reminders of the action plan and really free our mind from keeping track of everything. So, I mean, we don't want to use our mind to keep track of everything. We actually want to reduce, um, I mean, the, that, I mean, actually remove that complexity completely so that we can use that capacity for more creative stuff. Okay, so I mean, get stuff out of, out of our mind, the system that we can actually trust. Because mind is useful for solving problems, but it can only do this for one problem at a time. And if you are really cluttered with everything, then it like severely hurts our ability in coming up with like creative solutions. I mean, it's a bit like this single core CPU with multiple processes. I mean, the brain will revisit unfinished tasks in time slice. So even at times when you can't really do anything about it, we might actually be thinking about it, which is just waste of energy if, if we can actually avoid it. And usually at night, so <laughs> that's not handy. So the answer is actually two key principles. First of all, I mean, capturing all the things that need to get done. That means now, later, someday, big little in between into a logical and trusted system outside of our head and of our mind. And then really discipline, having the discipline to make these decisions about these inputs and then categorizing those into uh, uh, different categories that we have. So, I mean, in other words, just key to managing all the stuff is to manage the actions. And with each action, it often, re it actually often requires only a minute or two in the appropriate context to move project forward. So, I mean, we cannot complete projects. We cannot really act on a whole project. No, no, it's, it's going to be, I mean, single actions that we do in order to keep, complete those projects. So first we collect information, and then we process what it means and what to do regarding it. Then third is to organize the resource. And then number four, review as options for what we choose to do, which is the fifth one. And for the fifth one in actually choosing what to do, it's consider this criteria that, okay, I mean, what can I do? What can I do in the time that I have? And what do I have the energy to do? I mean, at different days of the time or days of the week, we have different energy levels. So that's something that we actually need to consider. So let's consider this. That, okay, there's some stuff coming up to our mind and then we collect that somewhere. And then we first question, okay, I mean, what is this? What is this thing that's like, taking space from our mind. Is it actionable? actionable? Is it something that we can do immediately? If it's not, then okay, fine, we just ignore it. I mean, I mean, delete it. Or then we just add uh, that, okay, I mean, we will think about this someday, maybe. Or then we actually may bit some file that we need to have on, 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 our, on, on our folders or whatever. But okay, if it's actually actionable, then we need to consider that, okay, what's the next action, next single action that I can do regarding this? Is it about projects? Is it about um, then reviewing these actions? And the key question really is that, okay, will it take less than two minutes to do? And if the answer is yes, 
to do these tasks, it will take less than two minutes. Then, okay, I mean, let's just not wait. Let's just do it immediately because, I mean, it's just two minutes. We have two minutes right now. But if, if it's no, it's not two minutes. It's going to be take 15 minutes, one hour, several hours, then okay, fine. Then if we have, if you're a business owner and we have a team, then first we should immediately consider, that, okay, I mean, let's just delegate this. I mean, uh, that's what I do. <laughs> I have a team, I have like a, a virtual assistants, so I will immediately just delegate it and I will, I will actually give the responsibility for the delegate to figure out that what needs to be done exactly. So maybe I get some kind of request from some, uh, someone outside my company, then I don't really have an exact idea what uh, what do I need to do regarding so so I will just delegate it to my VA and uh, she will actually figure out what needs to be done. And if you are delegating it, that means that some we need to wait for someone else to do it. But okay, I mean, no, I mean this is something that we have to do ourselves. So let's then defer it. So okay, this is goes to a pile of that. This is something that we need to do as soon as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, maybe it's calendar uh, driven. So, I mean, we are pretty much appointed to a specific time and we will look it, into it later. So, I mean, main major change in this TDD is that really getting everything out of our head and 100% of all, all the stuff, whatever it is. So, collect in different kind of baskets, notebooks, emails, just capture everything you need to track and remember or act or what this uh, is re referred to as bucket and then uh, we can use different tools it doesn't, the tool doesn't really matter, I mean uh, we, we can use just a simple notebook that's perf perf perfectly fine as we can have a system that we can actually trust to do the job so then maybe once a week we have these review sessions that we just call, go through everything that we had on the inbox and then we just pretty much categorize it. So that means number two is processing. Okay, then just deal with everything at one at a time. And we don't want to use this like inbox uh, place to store anything. No, no, I mean... It, things, items should go into the inbox and then move into the next state. And if it's something that requires taking action, then, I mean, let's just do it right now. If it's less than two minutes or if it's not, then, okay, uh, delegate it. Or then just file, throw or incubate. So delegations. With delegation, we do need to understand that, I mean, we cannot do it everything and... Uh, we actually just want to reduce our burden, so get more done by delegating and the best return is, is really, that's really the best return we can get and really buy more time for ourselves because we are <laughs> indispensable, meaning that everything should not be depend on us. No, instead we should always work in such a way that things work without our presence. So this is one way we can definitely uh, reduce uh, stress. That means we have more time to handle important matters and we can actually help the company grow by and, and we will actually have a stronger team and usually, I mean, I, I'm a business owner so I don't want to be doing every single thing. I mean, no way, I, I want my team to handle everything. So that's why I actually focus really on uh, uh, delegating. And one uh, one person army seldom wants anything. So organizing is just, these are different calendar. I mean, different folders that you can have, and then re review. It's pretty good to have it like once a week, and this means that you just gather. I mean, go through your inbox, go through your whole system, meaning that you check out the categories and the different list, and then I mean, make changes. Um, but the key thing is that don't make this heavyweight because otherwise it's, it, we are not going to be able to keep doing it. So it's just better to have a really lightweight system and something that we can have and something that we can actually have the discipline to follow every single week and even like every single day. With next single actions we need, really need to consider that these are small tasks and something that we can actually move things further 
then projects is something that uh, that has like uh, measurable results. So it, it's pretty much any desi desi desired result requiring more than one action step. And projects usually has many next actions and uh, I'm pretty much you can do any of those. So it's projects can be, for example, okay, find a general contractor and it could include different tasks like, okay, ask colleagues at work, ask neighbor, uh, de de determine the budget and so on. But next actions must be really action oriented and it tells us what to do. It, so it's, I mean, it can be complex or simple, but we need to understand the context, the due date, the priority and the energy level. So that means our energy, how focused do we really have to do in order to uh, work on the task? Because there's a, it requires a whole new different level of energy on just writing one email or re re responding to someone and then, for example, coming up with a strategy plan or marketing plan or whatever. And I mean, there's also these different kinds of goals like life goals, three to five years, one, two years, and different areas of responsibility and personal projects. But I mean, point is to get progress. Point is to move things further. I mean, no matter how small that progress is, but key thing is really to uh, focus on these actionable items. And if it's non-actionable, then it should go to these areas of non-actionable items. So the result really is that we don't have stress about forgetting anymore because we are actively collecting these uh, things that are cluttering our mind. And when we focus on the next actions, then we will have greater productivity and as a result, greater peace of mind as well. And I mean, if we still have these negative feelings or stress, I mean, then okay, I mean, then just don't make the agreement or then complete the agreement or renegotiate the agreement or I mean, just let some things go. And sometimes we might realize that we have made commitments that we don't wish to have. So I mean, then it's just okay, I mean, let's, let's just retake this whole thing and let, let's just move on. So I definitely recommend in checking out this uh, book and uh, using at least parts of this uh, GTD method. And if you are not using anything, then I recommend just taking these two things. So first of all, I mean, take the two minute rule. So if something takes less than two minutes, then uh, do it immediately. And additionally, I mean, always focus on next single actions small actions that take the things further further so because that's something that can really like transform your productivity and it's something that uh, it has done for myself and it really has made a big impact and if we just uh, like empty our mind all the time then it's just going to create clarity and reduce stress